Greetings. Good afternoon from a hot and sunny afternoon at Kharagpur. It's quite hot outside, and let's talk about waste heat. Okay. So uh, the title of our proposed course is Energy Conservation and Waste Heat Recovery. Uh, my name is Anandaru Bhattacharya. I'm a faculty of Mechanical Engineering Department at IIT Kharagpur, and this course will be jointly offered by me and Professor P. K. Das, who is my senior colleague at the department over here at Kharagpur. So. Uh, Friends, as you know, today it's imperative that we utilize the energy sources prudently and practically so that we can extract the maximum amount of energy that is available to us. Okay. Especially with the growing shortage of fossil fuel, we need to focus on sustainable energy. So on one hand, it is important that we have new and alternate energy sources, but along with that, it is equally important, if not more, that we ensure that we extract the maximum energy out of whatever we already have. Now, why do I say that? Look, energy analysis and audit shows that almost 20 to 50 percent, mark my words, 20 to 50 percent of the total available energy in the industry is wasted, is goes out as waste heat. Now, what do I mean by that? It goes out as waste heat in the form of exhaust gases, in the form of hot streams, for example, condensers in power plants, or from the surface of hot equipments and surfaces. Okay. So it is very important for us to understand the amount of energy that is available at our disposal, which we are otherwise wasting, and then to ex find out means to extract the available energy out of this quote unquote waste heat and utilize it for generation of additional electrical energy. So in this course, what we are going to do is we are going to talk about the different techniques for waste heat recovery that has been used by the industry and also talk about energy storage techniques which is also very important once energy is available to me I should be able to store it so that I can utilize it when I need it later. The course will start with a quick review of thermodynamics after which we will go to power plants. We are going to talk about the power plant cycles and then go on to modified cycles that are aimed towards more, more utilization of the available energy like cascading cycles, combined cycle power plants which is both in, in, involves a topping and bottoming cycle. After which we are going to talk about specialized bottoming cycle techniques which allows us to extract heat from low temperature heat sources for example organic Rankine cycle, Kalina cycle. Okay. We are also going to talk about vapor absorption refrigeration cycle and, and several other cycles that enable us to extract or to convert to extract energy out of waste heat. Thereafter as we know that in order to extract energy out of thermal sources, we need to know the basics or fundamentals or we need to know how to design efficient heat exchangers. So we are going to talk about heat exchangers as well, uh, about the design of different heat exchangers, recuperators and regenerators as well as specialized heat exchange techniques like heat pipes as, and uh, vapor, vapor chambers and so on. Okay. We will then switch gears and move towards techniques that enable us to convert directly electrical energy or thermal energy to electrical energy. So such techniques include thermoelectric generation, thermoionic conversion, thermophotovoltaics as well as magnetohydrodynamics. Okay. So thereafter what we will do is we will move on to the topic of energy storage where we are going to talk about different techniques that enable that utilize mechanical, chemical, electrochemical as well as magnetic energy storage and also thermal energy storage. And finally, we will we'll wrap up the course with a brief discussion on energy economics. So as you can see, this is a breadth of topics that we are going to cover as part of this course. Unfortunately, there is no standard textbook that encompasses all this topic. So your primary information is going to be our lecture notes. But however, we are also going to give you supplemental reading materials as and when required depending on the topic. Okay. So I think that kind of sums up our course and uh, both Professor P.K. Das and I look forward to a wonderful journey with you. Uh, on this interesting topic and I hope that during this journey we will learn a lot from each other. Okay. Till we meet again, thank you very much.